grief in the courtroom. This is the second worst day of my life. As the widow of a taxi driver killed by a drunk is forced to relive a nightmare moments before the killer started living hers. And 10 News reporter Steve Fiorina listened to that gut-wrenching testimony at today's sentencing of that drunk driver who killed a father. Steve, this must have been such a heartbreaking scene. No question about it. Many lives ruined that night when a drunk driver came up this off-ramp up to the I-5, the wrong direction, causing a series of accidents that claimed the life of a father of three. Amy St. John wiped tears as she listened to the widow of the taxi driver scold her for driving drunk and causing his death. You took away a loving, caring father from three beautiful little children. The family of Anthony Manassi provided pictures asking that we blur the kids' faces. Their mother's words were heartbreaking. My five-year-old said to me, Mom, am I not too young not to have a dad? I wish dad was alive, at least at least until I finish kindergarten. <sighs> St. John admitted to bad choices that night almost two years ago when she drove the wrong way up the Washington Street off-ramp onto Interstate 5, colliding with Manassi's taxi. St. John had been drinking heavily. Her blood alcohol level registered 0.27 percent, more than three times the legal limit. Manassi got out of his cab to warn her. Another car struck his, knocking him into oncoming traffic, killing him. St. John took off. She was arrested at a nearby motel. He did save my life, and the only reason why I turned around is because he he did say back up. You're going the wrong way. There was no sympathy from the cabbie's friends. You caused so many people unbearable pain and grief. That night you decided to get drunk and drive. You murdered Antonin Manassi. Judge Lewis Hanoyan told the court that St. John is not a monster, but he noted a prior DUI and said she'd been on notice. He sentenced her to 17 years, eight months in prison, as per the plea agreement. There isn't any way that I can fix anything. The seven words of remorse as well as the surprising words from the victim's wife. Live in Old Town, Steve Fearing, 10 News.